designed a number of items, that, a, a number of products, first of all, that are very, very accessible, very easy to get, very affordable, inexpensive, and uh, I believe that that's a good way to start if uh, you're on the uh, path of self-discovery, of self-growth, then you might want to visit Embrace Growth and um, because it's all about embracing those challenges that have perhaps stopped you. Each of us have had challenges and uh, mm, places in our life where we've gotten stopped or where we've had a certain amount of resistance or we feel like we're having the same problem over and over and over and over again or we're having the same relationships issues that never seem to go away. Um, we may have, some of us have experienced being married two or three times and it, it, you still can't get it right. And uh, that is normal given the society that we're, uh, that we're living in now, given the times that we're living in, it's actually normal to not have developed the ability to face challenges, personal challenges of a psychological nature, personal challenges of a spiritual nature, personal challenges of a emotional and physical nature. It's normal to face those challenges and it's also normal to face those challenges and, and not have the tools to deal with them appropriately, to not know how to turn those challenges that seem to be overwhelming or seem to be greater or bigger than we are into something that's actually a breakthrough, something that's actually uh, sends you to the next level of your awareness, to your, of your consciousness. You see, it's normal to have challenges in life. And probably more a sign of our times than uh, the nature of humanity is that one of the signs of our times is that we have grown up, if you're watching this show and you've been born in the last 40 or 50 or even 60 years, then you have grown up inside of a culture whose dominant thought, uh, one of the dominant thoughts is that the past creates the future. That the past, uh, my past, the past of my culture, the past of my family, the past of, of my religion or my, um, uh, my gender, you know, the past of men or the past of women, the past of my race, whether I'm Iranian or American or, or uh, Jewish or black or uh, Hispanic, that, that the past of my culture uh, gives me who I am today and therefore gives me the future that I will, that I expect to live into. So that has been a dominant thought. First and foremost, it, that's a myth. And I'm going to talk about that today so that I'm going to actually begin to untangle that myth and point to uh, an entirely new way, an entirely new paradigm that is given by our current day uh, quantum physics rather than the Newtonian idea that is over 500 years old that the world is a mechanistic uh, timeline and that the past there gives us the present and the future. So I'm going to begin to untangle that myth today. But I want to complete speaking a little bit about Embrace Growth. At Embrace Growth we propose that you embrace those challenges because that is the key. If you avoid the challenges in your life, if you take a pill to overcome your challenges, if you take a medication or you uh, uh, get involved in an addiction, most of, most of addictions are an, an attempt to overcome a challenge or to make yourself feel better uh, because you feel bad that you're challenged about something. A challenge is so that you can grow and develop, so that you can become a more refined, a more sophisticated, and a more complex and at the same time simplified human being. Now, how do you become more complex and more simplified? Well, you know, 
I have one of those cars that has a whole lot of things that are electronic in it. And so even though it's extremely complex, like I don't understand it at all and you need a computer to read what's going on in that thing, it has made my life very simple. It does things that I don't even have to think about because the machinery is doing it. So that's what I mean. We become a more complex human being as we developed new and um, more sophisticated technologies, new and more sophisticated uh, neurological connections within our own mind, body, spirit, uh, and uh, emotions, uh, that, that we're able to pick up on signals, just like my car can pick up on a signal. If I'm parking, it tells me I'm getting too close to something. You know, if one of the tires get low, it tells me that the tire's low. If I'm running out of gas, I'm running out of gas. So it tells me what temperature it is outside, so forth. So it, uh, like that, to use that metaphor, human beings have become more sophisticated. We are far more sophisticated than we used to be, and, and our, uh, our modern brain is able to sense and pick up a lot of more data and information uh, than a, a, a more primitive brain and a more, a more primitive nervous system. So while we have become more complex and more sophisticated neurologically, mentally, mentally, uh, mentally uh, emotionally, and spiritually, uh, we and physically, we have uh, developed a type of neurosis that is trying to get involved with understanding it all, where in fact we could become much more simplified in our way of living, in our way of life. What I proposed to you in the very beginning of the show was, what if you were able to hold a single thought, and that single thought simply is that I am love and I am loved. Now, to a lot of people that may sound like a woo-woo spiritual concept, I'm telling you that it's possible to live that life. It's possible to live coming from that I am love and I am loved. And then have your interactions with the people and the things and the circumstances and situations in your life be a reflection of that. So, at Embrace Growth, we've designed seminars, workshops, products, these TV shows, uh, my show, and then my wife's show, uh, Don Yayesh. And uh, we've designed a number of methods for you to be able to get this information and apply it into your own life. We've also got some books and CDs and DVDs, and you can find out all about those on Embrace Growth. Uh, at embracegrowth.com and you can also call into our office uh, what we're focusing on a lot these days mostly is our workshops and we do workshops for men and we do workshops for women and we're developing workshops they're actually already developed we're developing the men and women so that they can understand this workshop so that they can get the benefit of this workshop but we're creating we have a workshop that we've been creating for some time and it is for couples. It is for both men and women. And um, we believe that it is uh, necessary and also possible for people once they have graduated from the uh, women only workshop and from my workshop the, for men called Honor, Integrity, and Mastery. Once, uh, yes, go ahead, you can go ahead and show that. Uh, there's one.